We live in an era of rapid changes. You barely have time to look back before yesterday's technology becomes outdated. This is especially noticeable in the automotive industry. Manufacturers from different countries surprise us every year with new releases. And it begs the question, which car will become popular in 2023? To find out the answer to this question, watch the video until the end. Get comfortable and let's go! When it comes to the most popular car brands, Korean brands usually come to mind, such as Hyundai Solaris and Kia Rio, Japanese brands like Nissan and Toyota, and of course Ford remains relevant. A car that has been on the assembly line for a whole 10 years and has gone through 8 generations. Recently, the ranks of auto celebrities have been joined by the world-famous Tesla, and now the list includes Chinese brands as well. Not long ago, the phrase Chinese automotive industry caused confusion or at least a slight smile for many people. However, over the past decade, the situation has completely changed. Chinese brands are gaining popularity day by day. The share of Chinese cars in the global market is rapidly growing, and it's not surprising. The quality of Chinese car manufacturing is constantly improving, and manufacturers are delighting car owners with comfort and modern features. One of the factors contributing to the success of Chinese brands is the presence of many crossovers and SUVs in their lineups. Cars in this segment are particularly popular in the CIS countries. Another advantage is the price range. While the level of comfort in Chinese cars is slowly but steadily catching up with their European competitors, the cost remains relatively affordable. Cherry Tigo 9 – The ripe cherry of the cherry brand the popularity of any car model depends on many factors, including its design, specifications, performance, price, and of course consumer preferences. That's why car manufacturers constantly strive to create attractive vehicles that meet the requirements and preferences of consumers worldwide. The Chinese are no exception. That's how the largest flagship model of the Cherry brand, the Cherry Tigo 9, was born. Comfortable, luxurious, and affordable is how most people would describe this car. The newcomer can be compared to the Hyundai Santa Fe or Skoda Karak. In fact, it should be noted that the crossover built on the M3 Axmars 2.0 platform, which is also the base for the Exceed RX and VX crossovers of the new generation, not only stands up to comparison with popular Korean and European brand cars, but surpasses them in certain aspects. The new version is based on the Tigo 8 model, but it differs in many ways. It's no secret that we judge cars by their appearance, and in this regard, the Chinese have made an effort. The Cherry Tigo 9 looks like it has been dressed by a fashionable boutique. Firstly, at first glance the car's impressive dimensions catch the eye. Its length is 4820 mm, width is 1930 mm, height is 1699 mm, and the wheelbase is 2820 mm. Secondly, if previously the radiator grille was designed in a three-dimensional metric style, now the SUV draws attention with a massive grille featuring vertical bars. Simple yet stylish. The effect is enhanced by the LED daytime running lights integrated into the headlights, along with the high and low beam block positioned below them. At the rear of the Cherry Tigo 9, you can see a unified taillight assembly. By the way, many people know that because of the headlights and taillights extending onto the sides of the body, the Tigo 9 vaguely resembles the Range Rover Velar. Well, in this case, it's only a compliment. Overall, the design of the newcomer is quite restrained. The SUV has a two-tone body paint, flush-fitting door handles and Matrix headlights that are no worse than those of its European competitors. The thing is, an international team of designers led by Steve Yu, a renowned master who previously worked as a chief designer at General Motors, worked on the crossover styling. He was involved in the creation of cars such as the Cadillac CTS, Chevrolet Cruze, Lincoln Navigator, Ford Taurus, and Hyundai Santa Fe. Therefore, it's not surprising that the Cherry Tigo 9 stands out with a minimalist yet memorable appearance. The Chinese have also put effort into the electronic component. It has everything – paired screens of the infotainment system, electrically adjustable seats on the door cards, a steering column mounted transmission selector, and a touchpad on the central console, reminiscent of Mercedes, and in the center there are three noticeable ventilation deflectors. The Tigo 9 drives smoothly and quietly, so quiet that one would hardly think that this SUV is equipped with a 2-liter turbocharged engine, which is paired with a 7-speed Gatrack dual clutch transmission. The powertrain is capable of delivering 261 horsepower. It accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 10 seconds. 
The flagship crossover is available with both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. And of course we cannot overlook the level of comfort in the flagship model. For example, you can start the engine and warm up the cabin in advance by simply pressing a button on the key fob. And you can do it from home. Another feature is the automatically unlocking door locks. Just approach the car with the key in your pocket. And if you come to the rear and stand next to it for a couple of seconds, the power lift gate will open on its own without the need to say Open Sesame. The hood opens with the double hand gesture, similar to BMW. In general, these are small details, but still pleasant. Overall, the Tiggo 9 is an excellent option for a family car. It has a spacious cabin with comfortable seats and a roomy trunk that can accommodate a large amount of cargo. The car is well suited for long trips. During cold weather you can activate the front and rear window defrosters and seat heaters. In hot weather there is ventilation, but the front row passenger is particularly lucky because they can also activate the massage mode. For travel enthusiasts the panoramic roof will be appealing. Music lovers will appreciate built-in Sony audio system. And families with children will like the reliability and high level of safety. Off-road performance of the Cherry Tigo 9. The crossover stands out with its dynamism and good handling. It provides precise steering response, maintains proper balance on straight roads, and features well-tuned shocks that ensure a comfortable ride over any terrain. The Cherry Tigo 9 confidently handles gravel roads, and its electronic simulation of interwheel locking assists on light off-road conditions. On extremely rough roads, the all-wheel drive and 190mm ground clearance will come to the rescue. It can easily navigate a cleaned-up dirt road that has been overgrown for several weeks. Of course, many people are likely to ask, does the Tigo 9 surpass its competitors, and if so, in what aspects? Well, for example, we can compare the Tigo 9 with the Hyundai Santa Fe or Kia Sorento. Despite the external similarities, both models significantly lag behind Cherry in terms of features. The Chinese vehicle stands out with a more impressive ground clearance, leather upholstered seats, 18-inch alloy wheels, wireless charging and roof rails. Among the unbeatable advantages are also front parking sensors, a surround view system and blind spot monitoring. The heated rear seats and windshield also play a significant role in providing a comfortable ride in cold weather. In addition to that, the list includes remote engine start and power lift gate. And of course we cannot overlook the interior ambient lighting, electric adjustments for the front seats and the panoramic roof. They may not directly contribute to practical benefits, but they certainly create a pleasant and cozy atmosphere. Overall, the striking design, functionality, high level of comfort and reasonable price unquestionably make the flagship crossover Cherry Tigo 9 one of the leaders in its class. Furthermore, Cherry manufacturers have made sure that everyone can choose the most suitable model. Currently, the Tigo 9 is available in three trims. The most affordable variant of the crossover features 19-inch wheels, matrix headlights, a panoramic sunroof, paired screens and multimedia systems, dual-zone climate control, surround view cameras, rear parking sensors, adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking systems. The mid-level version comes with 20-inch wheels, additionally it includes mirror memory settings, ambient interior lighting, heated seats, front parking sensors, a built-in dashcam, wireless smartphone charging and a separate climate control unit for passengers. In the luxury trim, on top of everything mentioned, there are heated steering wheel, blind spot monitoring systems, rear collision warning, head-up display and driver monitoring system. In short, the prestigious representative of the Tigo family is not inferior to its European competitors in terms of both interior design and internal characteristics, while its price is significantly lower. The base configuration of the 5-seater Tigo 9 will cost Chinese car enthusiasts 155,000 to 175,000 yuan or 1.7 million rubles. The intermediate or mid-level variant is priced at 165,000 yuan or 2 million rubles. The cost of the top end Tigo 9 is 175,000 yuan, but in the Russian market the price for the 9 is close to 4 to 5 million rubles. According to the manufacturers, the new SUV will be available in 5, 6 and 7-seater cabin configurations. In the near future, the vehicle will also have a plug-in hybrid version with a new CTM powertrain. In conclusion, it is worth mentioning that if in the past the low cost was the only attraction of Chinese cars, now car owners consciously prefer Chinese brands even when there are alternatives. Of course, many people still have doubts. 
the stereotype that if it's Chinese, it's low quality is deeply ingrained in our minds. But if we recall the recent past, when Koreans entered the car market, the same things were said about them. And now Hyundai and Kia are the main cars in taxi fleets. What do you think? Are Chinese cars reliable and worth their money? Be sure to share your opinion in the comments. And that's all from us. Have a great day. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.